Hi everyone, thanks for being with me again. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to sort numbers or how to shuffle numbers in a random order using random function. So in the first column, I take few numbers in uh, order from 1001 to let's say 1020. So I need to uh, arrange them in a particular order or, or shuffle them. Uh, and I just want to make some thing interesting uh, that I can change the order at any point of time. So I'll be using rand function that gives me a random value between 0 and 1. And I just copy this fun uh, formula to all the cells uh, uh, in column C. And basically when I'm using random function this gives me a value uh, that is of new, no use to me right now. Because uh, uh, two cells or let's say 5 or 10 or, 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 or all the cells may have same value. That depends because it randomly returns a value but what uh, is required here I need a particular index so that I can tie each input number to that particular index to get our, a shuffled value for example uh, I need 1001 uh, at nth index or 1005 at second index like this so to generate a particular index what I'm doing I am using a large function again to sort these numbers because sorting will help sorting these random values uh, will return me a particular order or index so I am using a, a, a large function to sort these values let's say in descending order first alright so I have sorted them because even if two, two or let's say five values are same they will get a unique index so I have sorted them all uh, but this is not required I still have the value and not the index number so I'll be using combination of match and index to find the index number or the position of that particular value in the input array so because I have already uh, sorted them now I just need to find the position of that particular value in my original array so I'm using match function I am giving the main array and uh, the value which we have calculated and this way I got the position of particular value in column D right so when once I recalculate the sheet I will get different orders because because random function will always get uh, evaluated and will return a different value all the times and I'll be I'll be getting a different index uh, in column D all the times so now I have the index number and based on this index I can tie my numbers my input numbers so what I can do uh, I can use index function to give me the value of column A corresponding to the index value of column D so index and then specify the row number row number is given given by the column D and column number I know that is 1 right so similarly uh, uh, if I uh, make this absolute I can drag this formula to the bottom and this way I have these numbers sorted in random fashion now if I recalculate this sheet every time I will be getting these numbers shuffled so because we have used two columns as helping columns here uh, so these basically the columns which we use to derive something or a particular thing which we cannot achieve directly are known as helping columns but uh, we have taken three columns here though we do not require, require three we require only two so I'm trying to merge the columns D and E what I need to do I just need to uh, remove the dependency and the value of D5 uh, I'll be placing this formula straight away over there I'm copying the content and I'm putting it there so now I do not require column E I have only two columns but still I have dependency on column C that I cannot ignore so because that is a random value and I need a particular array to at least get something uh, in ascending or descending order so I can hide that uh, my helping column and I can say that this is my uh, shuffled array or I can also call it as random sort Alright, thank you for being with us again. Keep watching our videos. Goodbye.